We're gonna have a go at showing you how to change the front grille on your Ford Ranger. Now, we haven't actually done this yet, so we're gonna make it up as we go along. Um, not unusual. Why are you changing your grille? You might have damage, you might be bored of the color, um, numerous reasons. We have got a little display of sorts of grills we've managed to find for sale around the place. This one's a chrome one, obviously that'll be an upgrade on the silver. I haven't looked whether they fitted chrome on the wild track or what was happening there. Matte black one for the stealth look, that looks quite nice. And then this sort of billet look, it's actually ABS plastic, but it looks like those um, like mesh, look mesh thing, yeah. billet aluminium grills is quite popular. So I think we're going to fit that one. Should we fit that one here? Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll have a go that see what that looks like. Right, so let's have a look if we can work this out. So we, the one thing we have worked out is the poppers at the top. So these are these two-part poppers, and you've got the middle bit that comes out. And you've got these little cutouts. And that's actually on three sides on these. On some of them, it's on two sides. And you can sort of get in, in the little, you get a little bit of access there. We've got one of these little trim tools. And then you can pull them out like so. We're looking like we know what we're doing so far, aren't we? Yeah, well, it's we're good. looking good. Right, um, we're just going to have to move our gas uh, strut um, out the oh way. Yeah, oh, God, does it, go all, oh, it goes all the way back there? It goes all the way is back there. And we've fitted gas struts now, so we don't have to worry oh, about is that. Is that all one bit, or is that...? Yes, yeah, so I think it lifts. Just pull. Be oh. brave. Well, that, oh, is that this bit here? Look? I think it's, it's, look, it's separate, got, yeah. yeah. So it looks like it's going to... It's got, these, it's got these grooves in it here, and I think it just clips into it. Right. So I think we've got to just be brave and Peel it up, it you reckon, from one end here? Yeah. Oh, it's going. Whoa! Oh, it's a good job it's our car we're doing it. Right, hold on. I'm, I'm Last one, pull from that end. Right, so what, what do these clips look like then? So they're these just sort of, of a, it looks like I've broken that one. Looks like they've all broke. I don't know if there's a better way of doing that. That one's all right. Doesn't seem, a, you can't really get in there. Get to, in. You can't get in from underneath because no. the grill's solid there. I mean, you can't really get in around the back because it covers all of this. That looks like a sort of one-time deal. You may have to put a couple of little self-tapping screws back in there. Um, We'll see how well it we'll clicks for me, yeah. There you go. Well, if, it, if you can do it better than we can, or there's a trick, tell us in the comments below. Right, what have we got now? What have you found, Ian? Uh, now we've got the top edge looks to be secured by nut. these two weird little plates. I guess they've got a posi head in them, so That's maybe right. they unscrew. Let's try. Oh, he's a bit big. Do they unscrew, they pull off. Right, we've worked it out. Um, it looks like it's one of these rivets again. Now, I think it's supposed to be threaded, but we were turning all day. Let's go and have a go. Now we know how it works. Let's have another go on this one. I'll try turning it. It, 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 it doesn't lift. Oh, here it goes. Now he does. He, he has. He, if you're lucky. So you've got to hold the square and turn a bit, but then you end up just giving up but and not ripping it out. Ripping it out, yeah. Just go. Hold on. Let's have that because. You've got to push down on that collar there. And then, there we go. It's not that hard just to pull out. Right, I've got tools everywhere, sorry. Hold on. So, you pull the middle bit out, it leaves you with that little square, yeah. and that, that should just pull out by hand there easily. Right, now we're looking good. Now, if we look along the bottom of the grill, so that's the top, I reckon it's these clips down here. Now, we might be able to press them, and we might be able to pull them out. What's, there's a chance of getting in there, Ian. It'd be a lot higher without that, without that tray in there. We've got this. Okay. Just two parts. Let's, let's have a go at pulling. Let's have a go at pulling. It's going to break it on ours. Yeah. Right, all done. Yep. Yeah. Right. Nope. Nope. I thought we were doing well then. So how do we get this tray out? This seems like it's a. Seems like you have to press down on. Seems like they got little little wedge jaws in them. Well, I think you have to pull that other one from the other end. Right. What's the damage? A crack here. A crack there. 
crack there. What did these actual clips break? No, they're all no, they they're good. all good. I think if you pull from this bottom edge, yeah, and pull firmly and bravely, but actually at the point that the clips are, so you've got one yeah. right in the middle, one, two, off to e each side. I think you might be all right, to be all right, honest. Yeah. I was pulling on that, but you've got to be careful there because if you're not careful, I was getting around that bit there, that metal bar. So you've just got to get on that, that top edge and give it a pull. Right, there we go. How you disengage that other bit, I've got. So that looks like it's, it's on a similar kind of clips, but you have to kind of like spread these jaws apart. You can, you can spread those jaws one up, one down. It's going to be impossible to do while you're... Just rip it off. Just rip it off. Honest. Look at that. God. We is the cat. We should put our cowboy hat on for this video. Right then. This is a horrible there piece. And you can't access any of the clips to get to or anything. So that is how. To let's have to remove right, it. We put the new one on. Let's, let's, let's have a. Let's hopefully have a bit more joy looking at this. So we don't have a middle section on this. This is good design. It lets you breathe more. Look. You get it's more airflow, airflow to your radiator. Right. So we've got the same sort of clips. Right then. So let's have a go. Line them up. This grill is a no. bit more flexy, this one. Yeah, he's alright, he's got the little tabs there that look like they go on top. That rests on top because there's no slot there. So that aligns. Uh -oh. I think, there you go, I think you've got to give it a... Give him a push. He's not looking too bad, is he? No, and then these should just... They should just wiggle back in. It might be a two-handed job. Yeah, that's it. That's that one. Let's close the bonnet and then we've got that. we just got that one to put back oh, yeah. on. That top tray should just, hopefully, it'll just clip back in. Let's see how these line up, yeah. seems to go not back too yes. bad then you've got those clips to put in but we'll gloss over that for the video that's just the same as we've just done so push the outers out a bit in first and then push the center and let's have a have a look how that looks oh we can barely tell on this it all just looks black yeah there we go there we go lights adjusted now so that is how to upgrade your grill on your ranger good luck with that